Right, I have an excellent piece of equipment to show you today and rather unusual for my channel. I needed a new digital power supply and I've got this one here which is the MDP-XP uh, made by Miniware. It's the same people that make the TS80 smart soldering iron and you know how good that one is. This digital power supply is exceptional and just as brilliant as the um, soldering iron for quality and use. So you have two main units. You have the digital power supply, which is the MDP-P905. And then you have the smart digital monitor, which is the MDP-M01. You can buy both units together in this box here, or you can buy the digital power supply on its own. And both units are well packed in these lovely quality plastic boxes and have all the necessary cables So the actual power unit can actually be bought on its own and it can be used separately from the actual monitor. You don't actually need the monitor if you don't want it. And um, it's very well made. The units are made of tough um, aluminium, solid aluminium with nice black anodyze. And the screen has a 2.8 TFT color screen. Another excellent unit. And you can actually wire them together um, to actually pair them and then use them by um, remote control or uh, wirelessly. So the power unit has a small screen here, nice bright screen. Um, I'll show you when I turn it on. It can be connected with a C-type USB and used with um, the USB power supply or from the computer or you have another adapter plug there for a higher power so you have the actual 5 volts there from the USB or you can have up to 30 volts um, on the actual um, socket here. So it's a linear DC power supply of up to 30 volts, 5 amps and 90 watts. So then I'll plug in the cables these are nice um, silicon type cables very supple and nice to use and they have the crocodile um, clip on the end there connect that one to the positive on this motor just for an example and the negative and then I can switch the power supply on with the um, run lock button. And the display on the side there gives the voltage, the amps and the watts and you can alter all of those independently. So by turning this wheel here I can actually alter the values so I can actually turn up the voltage. Um, if I press set then the voltage will go higher or lower um, much faster with the turn of the wheel. You can hear the motor going up there. You 
And I like the way they have the LED lights lighting on the end here. That's an excellent feature. That's when it's on or running. And I'll give a close-up of that. And I think that's an excellent little unit. So now I'm going to put the monitor on the power supply. And I forgot to mention there's no actual um, on off switch for the unit. So you have to pull out the um, C cable at the back here to turn it off. Put the monitor on top here and it sticks to the um, power supply with magnetism. It won't stay on there if you turned it upside down, but it's enough to hold it um, on the bench here. And you can have. Um, five other power supplies you have six in all underneath all stacked up and then you can actually control all those six um, with the actual uh, wireless uh, control on the actual uh, monitor which is excellent so now I put the micro USB cable in the monitor and the small jack goes into the um, power supply and then I plug the C cable back in the back and then when I turn it on the monitor um, the actual power supply unit will come on plus the monitor and then when I start the unit the graph comes up So I can still use the power supply controls to actually control it or I can actually use the wheels on the actual monitor and the buttons on the top here to actually control the um, power supply. And you have the real-time graph, like I say. And I think that's absolutely brilliant. And you can stop and start the graph. You can do screenshots of the um, uh, graph and obviously transfer that to the computer later. And obviously you have the channel button for the different channels. It really is an excellent quality unit.
You can see that this one's paired um, in this uh, box here. You see the actual values, and if you had the other um, five, you'd have those in these boxes here. So you'll have all the uh, values displayed of those um, six units all together on the actual monitor, which is brilliant. And because I'm new to electronics, I've only shown you the basic use of this uh, little machine. There's hundreds of different things you can actually do with it and different settings and um, different displays you can go through. It's really worth going on some of the tutorial videos on YouTube and seeing how to actually use this one uh, completely. And I usually use a large power supply like this when testing components, but this one is brilliant that it's so small and that it can be used wirelessly. There must be many different uses, and you can also use it with a battery out in the field, so that's another uh, good thing. It's small enough really to take anywhere. And the actual quality is absolutely exceptional. I'm really pleased with it, and I think it's excellent value for money. And I forgot to mention it comes with a cable so that you can actually connect it to the computer and update the firmware. Um, that's something I need to do because I haven't done that yet. So I shall look into that and do that and maybe show a video of that at a later date.